It's another learning day everyone. It's me again, your teacher Marlene. And for today's episode, I will show you the process of solving problems involving the properties of rectangle, square, and rhombus. And the prerequisite knowledge about our discussion is the last video lessons where I discuss the different properties and kinds of parallelogram. Let's start! To start with, let us have this rectangle. Let us name this as Q, R, S, T. With R, T and Q, S are the diagonals that intersect at Q. If the measure of angle Q, R, T is 25 degrees, we are asked to find the measure of angle PRS, measure of angle QSR, and the measure of angle RTS. Let us start finding the measure of angle TRS. Since QRST is a rectangle, each angle Q, R, S, and T measures 90 degrees. Diagonal RT divides angle R and angle T. So the measure of angle QRT plus the measure of angle TRS is 90 degrees. Now let us substitute 25 degrees for angle QRT. Then by addition property of equality, by adding both sides by a negative 25, so that the measure of angle TRS is 90 degrees minus 25 degrees, which is 65 degrees. So this is the measure of angle TRS. Now, let us find the measure of angle QSR. So, our diagonals are QS and RT. Where RT is congruent to QS because the diagonals of rectangles are congruent. Now, diagonals of rectangle bisect each other at U. So that... UQ is congruent to US and is congruent to UT and also congruent to UR. Now let us choose UR that is congruent to US. Since RUS formed a triangle and two sides are congruent, then triangle RUS is isosceles triangle because the opposite of the congruent sides are base angles and the base angles of isosceles triangles are congruent. Then, the measure of angle URS is equal to the measure of angle USR which is 65 degrees. So, the angle pertaining to angle USR is the same angle as angle QSR. Therefore, the measure of angle QSR is 65 degrees. This time, let us find the measure of angle RTS. So angle S measures 90 degrees because it is one angle of the rectangle. So getting the measure of angle QST, which is equal to 90 degrees minus 65 degrees, is equal to 25 degrees. Since US is congruent to UT because our diagonals are bisected at U, then, triangle TUS 
it is also a isosceles triangle. And since the base angles of triangles are congruent, then the measure of angle UST is equal to the measure of angle UTS, which is 25 degrees. So similarly, the measure of angle UTS is the same angle as angle RTS. So the measure of angle RTS is 25 degrees. Now using the same rectangle QRST, if QS is equal to 5x minus 14 centimeters and RT equals 4x plus 6 centimeters, what is X, QS, and RT? Since diagonals of rectangles are congruent, QS is congruent to RT. By substitution, QS equals 5x minus 14 and RT equals 4x plus 6. Combining similar terms and by addition property of equality, we will get 5x minus 4x which is x and 6 plus 14 is 20. Now, to find QS, let us substitute x equals 20 in our 5x minus 14. So QS is equal to 5 times 20, which is 100 minus 14 is 86. So QS is 86 centimeters. Now let us check the congruency of the diagonals. Let us find RT. Let us substitute 20 for X. So 4 times 20, which is 80 plus 6 is 86. So the diagonals QS and RT are both 86 centimeters long as the length measure. Now let us solve problem related to square. On the right is a square H O P E. -E. If the length of EP is equal to 12x minus 2 and OP is equal to 5x plus 5, find the length of each side. Since HOPE is a square, the sides are congruent. So EP is equal to OP. Substitute 12x minus 2 for AP and 5x plus 5 for OP. Let us apply the addition property of equality and combine like terms. So, 12x minus 5x is 7x and 5 plus 2 is 7. Dividing both sides by 7, we will get equal to 1. Let us choose x is equal to 1 to find the length of EP. So EP is equal to 12x minus 2. Then 12 times 1 is 12 minus 2 is 10. So EP is equal to 10. Now let us find the length of OP which is 5x plus 5. Let us substitute 1 for x, then 5 times 1 is 5 plus 5 
is 10. So, OP is equal to 10. So, we can say that side HO is equal to side OP and is equal to side PP and also equal to side HE. And all of them is equal to 10 units. Now, let us solve the problem about the rhombus. On the right is rhombus A, B, C, D. Where A, C and B, D are its diagonals. If the measure of angle A, B, D is 35 degrees, find the measure of angle D, B, C, the measure of angle B, C, D, and the measure of angle BCA. It is stated in the properties that diagonals of rhombus bisect the angles. So angle ABD is congruent to angle DBC. And since the measure of angle ABD is 35 degrees, then the measure of angle DBC is 35 degrees. Since angle ABC is the sum of angle ABD and angle DBC, then substituting angle ABD and angle DBC by 35 degrees, so, the measure of angle ABC is 70 degrees. Now, observe that angle ABC and angle BCD are consecutive angles, then their sum is supplementary. Therefore, angle ABC plus angle BCD is equal to 180 degrees. Substitute 70 degrees angle ABC and let us apply the addition property of equality. So angle BCD is 180 minus 70 degrees, which is 110 degrees. So angle BCD is 110 degrees. And since angle BCA is one half the measure of angle BCD, then angle BCA is equal to 110 degrees divided by 2. Therefore, angle BCA is 55 degrees. Using the same rhombus ABCD, if AE is equal to x plus 2 centimeters, BE is equal to 4x plus 4 centimeters, and AB is 5x centimeters. Then, what is AE, BE, and AB? It is one of the properties Diagonal of rhombus are perpendicular. So we can use the Pythagorean theorem that the sum of the square of the two legs is equal to the square of the hypotenuse. So using the triangle AEB, the square of AB, which is the hypotenuse, is equal to the square of AE plus the square of BE, which are the legs. So by substitution, AB is 5X, AE is X plus 2, and BE is 4X plus 4. The square of 5X is 25X squared. The square of X plus 2 is X squared plus 4X plus 4. And the square of 4x plus 4 is 16x squared plus 32x 
plus 16. Combining like terms in the right side, we have x squared plus 16x squared is 17x squared. 4x plus 32x is 36x. 4 plus 16 is 20. Now let us apply addition property of equality and we will simplify it to 25x squared minus 17x squared minus 36x minus 20 is equal to 0. 25x squared minus 17x squared is 8x squared. Let us copy negative 36x minus 20. Then let us have the factoring. The common monomial factor is 4 and factor this completely will result to 4 times the quantity of x minus 5 times the quantity of 2x plus 1. Then applying the zero product property, so we have x is equal to 5 and x is equal to negative 1 half. Since we are on the measurement, we have to reject negative 1 half and accept x is equal to 5. So if x is equal to 5 and ae is equal to x plus 2, substituting 5 for x, so ae is 5 plus 2 or 7. So, AE is 7 centimeters. Now, for the length of BE, substitute 5 for X. So, 4 times 5 is 20 plus 4 is 24. So, BE is 24 centimeters. And for the length of AB, which is 5x, so 5 times 5 is 25, so AB is 25 centimeters. Well, I hope this lesson will help you in doing your task. Remember our food for thought? It is familiarized by Duke Abington. That the problem is a chance for you to do your best. So don't be afraid of facing problems. You have your best ability to solve it. Thank you for watching and keep on learning. God bless everyone.